Hello YouTube and this is tutorial number 5 Super Advanced VBA Password Coding um, if This is for one of my mini games it's going to be called Bubble Maze This I've already done the first stage and this is going to be you pass the first stage slide so I'm just going to make this quickly um, close can't bother to do it all so password burst yep there you go there's the first password no outline no feel blah 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 right just to get to this slide we want the password burst this is slide four right that's important right I already knew a piece of VBA coding which is the software that we're going to use for this password feature and it worked for passwords but rather than just taking me straight from slide 1 to 4 it went from 1, 2, 3, 4 through them all really quickly but you could just see what was on all the levels and it, like if I was going from 1 to slide 100 it would take absolutely ages so um, what I decided to do, I decided to experiment a bit because I couldn't find anything on the internet and come up with my own way of doing this so just in case you didn't know you need the developer tab for this and to open that you go this little icon up here powerpoint options and straight away show the de developer tab in the ribbon you just have to tick that box and then click OK this will pop up and what you want to do you want to draw a text box so like A, B, C, whatever draw that and I've already drawn one down there so I don't need one and then also you'd want to draw a command button that's this one here which is my enter button and you can change the caption and all that I'll show you in another tutorial because that's quite basic and then what you want to do is double click on your enter caption right and this is where you're going to type your code in um, right here we go if text box one dot text equals um what should our password be it was burst wasn't it burst um right that's basically saying if the text box if the text in the text box equals burst then um slideshow windows uh, what was it bracket one bracket view go to slide space bracket four right so there we go we've told it if it says burst go to slide four that's basically what we said right else so if anything else is in the text box else message box with the caption wrong password um, and it's 16 that's the little picture in the message box it's like a circle with an X in it I think there's a few and it doesn't go up in order um, equals incorrect password um, and then end if text box one text Oh, 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 did I do the dot? Yes, I did. Equals nothing. Right. So that's our piece of coding. So we have if burst is the password, and then go to slide four. If it's anything else, so anything else is typed in, then a message box comes up saying wrong password and end the coding if nothing's in the text box that that's basically what we want so I can now close this don't have to click save or anything and look I can play this do 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 
Do do do. And I got to the portal. Oh, the password's burst. Ready? Play it again. Oh no, I keep dying. Right, so let's enter, enter our password. B U R S T. Burst. That's our password. Enter. There you go. Came to slide four. Straight away, not skipping through the slides. Right. There's one thing I've realised I've forgotten, and that's to add a home button to the you use slide. S um, you lose slide home. Right. See, doing this tutorial, I'm going through and checking one of my mini games as well. So, hyperlink to slide one. There you go. And you can add as many passwords as you want. You just have to copy and paste the first bit, change the slide that it goes to, um, yeah, right, now I'm going to show you how to change this, that's the coding, I can delete this text box coding, um, to the properties of this, so you right click it and click properties and this box should come up. It's basically showing me the background colour of it, the border colour, and the font colour. Right, and what I want is I want um, when I type it to come up with them stars. So I go down to password chart, and in there I just type a star, which is shift and eight, and then I can close that. So you can also change. And when I type next time, it will come up with password things. And if I change properties on this, look, you can see I've got the background colour that, the four colour, which is the text that. You can also change <coughs> um, the font and all this with that. And to make it say enter, it's caption there, look, caption. Um, and really, that's all. Thank you for watching tutorial 5, super advanced. VBA coding password.